What is up, watch friends? Uh, welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. And I just got back from the urgent care, but I wanted to get this video done. Um, my back, if, if people that watch my videos know, know, know I have back problems, so I'm walking with a cane again. And actually, I wasn't even able to walk. But um, having said that, um, I'm going to talk about Cartier. And one of the issues that I found with it, uh, more of a warning for people who are thinking about buying it or who actually own the Santos. So let's roll the intro and we'll talk about it. You're watching Time Pieces with Tony. Talking Time Pieces with Tony. You're watching Talking Time Pieces with Tony. First and foremost, thank you for liking, subscribing, and all that. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I did. I went. It's funny because I did. Well, nothing's funny, but I went to the urgent care, and the doctor is the same doctor I saw last time. I was just there a few months ago, and uh, I noticed he was wearing a two-tone sub bluesy, and uh, so I was like, "Hey, man, I like your watch." And um, we talked about Rolex and Patek and and watches for a bit. It was awesome. And I believe you subscribed to my channel. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for helping me. Uh, give me those shots, those two shots, um, still a massive amount of pain. But other than that, um, I just wanted to do this uh, quick video for anyone who owns a, a Santos de Cartier, uh, who either own one or think about buying them. All right. Uh, and I'll put this video up that I did. Um, a lot of people know about the Cartier and it's just one of the brilliant things about it is the quick change system about, you know, how to basically change straps, you know, just press of a button. And the same thing goes with changing links. There's a, sorry, man, it's a, um, it has these little buttons on the inside of the bracelet. You can't see them. They're virtually uh, invisible that you press and the pin comes out and then you pull the pin out. It doesn't come out all the way, which is good. <laughs> um, but it comes out enough so you can, you can remove the link and change the link, put the link back in. But one thing that's happened to me a couple of times is that uh, I noticed that the pin was sticking out on a couple of them, which is not good because if that pin comes out and you're wearing it, you don't know that it's popped out you could lose your watch, you know, when, when you're spending, uh, California, $8,000, 7,400 plus tax, you know, you're looking at about $8,000. Uh, it's not fun to lose something, uh, like this. I mean, I certainly couldn't afford to, but I have insurance on it at least. But so it was about a week and a half ago, I was out and I was wearing it and I noticed that I, I had my hoodie on or something and it caught on my hoodie. And I was like, what the hell's that? And I, I realized, oh, I'm like, oh shit, the, the pin came out. So you make sure, and also previously when I bought my medium size one, uh, when my AD gave the watch to me after he sized it, I got home and noticed some of those pins had popped out a little bit, that they weren't pushed in properly all the way. Not only do they have to be pushed in all the way, they have to push in and click. And it's very difficult. So you'll see in this video that my, uh, my nails are very thin. So I, I, it was very difficult for me to get those pin out and also push it in and make sure it stayed in. So I don't know if they, you know, just kind of randomly popped out because I can't imagine just from moving my wrist, it's going to press the button inside the bracelet. It's just, it's, it's, it's too good of a, a mechanism, so to speak, but I don't know. There could be something with it. I'm just saying that it's happened with my watch a couple of times. I don't know if it's happened with any of you that have this watch, but if you're thinking about buying one, it's still a great watch, you know. you know, just make sure when you put your bracelet on or you're changing them, like I change my straps on it a lot. Um, you know, that you, that when you put it on, just make sure that, uh, that your pins are in there properly. Okay. Um, because it would be a real shame to lose a watch because through either carelessness of not checking your pins, um, or, you know, just by an accident, whatever, it would just be a terrible shame. So just make sure that, um, that's something to consider when you were purchasing, uh, the Santos large or medium, uh, Cartier de Santos. Um, and again, this would be from 2020 references to 2022, I think, um, is when they started with this the quick change and everything like that. It's a beautiful watch. I still love it. Um, other than that, man, I, 
I just want to thank you again for all, all your support, you guys. And uh, any of you guys, I know that a couple of you have had back surgery and the uh, lady, I, I, people told me, don't get the surgery, don't get the surgery. And uh, the lady at Urgent Care that checked me in um, had had surgery and she said it was the best thing she ever did. So I, I'm just, I might have to suck it up and do that because this is just getting insane. But all right, you guys, appreciate it. Take care.